think this can handle me. Yes, sir. Where are we going? Uh, I'm going to hell if I don't stop praying. Anyways, let me get, let me see where I'm going here. Uh, 2168 Chenille Court. Thank you, sir. Fuck another one that doesn't get my jokes. Damn. Absolutely nothing. No response from that. See that house right there? Fucking put the plumbing in that for nothing. Oh, we need you to do the model for free. Yeah. The fuckers sold it six weeks after I put it in. Where's the fairness in that, guys? I did all of those houses, man. It's a nice, nice community. We're doing this in like 2002 through up to 2008, and then then it just shit the bed. They wanted me to do it for absolutely nothing. And I was like, have a nice day. I'd rather stay home and make no money than go out and work my ass off every day and not make any. You know what I'm saying? And where's the water coming from when it drips? Up there? Down the bottom, yeah. okay. You can see this thing move back here. What's um, that? This piece back here. Yeah, the that, stop tube. That moves left and right. If you go all the way to the... There, and then when you go back, you see how it's twisting? Yeah. That's, that's why I'm getting a drip sometimes. Okay, so the cartridge actually is good. The problem yes. is just that 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 uh, we need to keep that stop tube from sliding around. Yes, sir. Because when the cartridge was bad, that whole thing was shaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let me go get some tools, and I'll see if I can't get that stop tube. Mm. Do you have the pop-up? No. Uh, I think I took it out. All right. I mean, that's fine, but... If you needed it, does anybody use the tub? Um, uh, I don't know if she does or doesn't. I think she just showered, but yeah, I don't know what I did with it. All right, well, it's not an issue. I just think you needed one. I was gonna get you one. Of them. <clears throat> Right, so we got a, the issue is the stop tube is not stopping the valve. It's over rotating in the off position, which is cracking it open. The cartridge is good. We just need to get the stop tube to actually do its job. Yeah, I can see that. Totally not. Not good. Mm. Yeah, that thing's just the gooses. Goose is a goose, man. Just to see. 
what what's going on in here real quick. The disc that you replaced, that's actually still there? That's the piece of it? The disc? You you keep calling it, you mean the cartridge? Yes, cartridge. cartridge. Yeah, yeah, the cartridge is still there. I didn't know where it was. Oh. You didn't, you thought it might have moved out in the middle of the night? No, I, no, I forgot what it looked like and <laughs> what it did. I just, you know, just curious. So how's everything going, man, since the last time I saw you here? Good, you're, you're the old, the last, be the, the last person I had to have here, <laughs> so they haven't had any issues at all here. Good. Um, all right, let's see what the deal is here. What the deal is. Yeah, that's a little. What I'm gonna do is uh, put a little squeeze on this. This one I can squeeze this. Because it's it's one piece. The other ones used to have like this little connection here. But I'm thinking I can tighten this up. Get her to work. Yeah, I'm gonna do it one more time out here in the front. I'm just squeezing this together, guys. got to be be careful not to uh, uh, wrench the you know you got a little more leverage with a with a uh, lever handle you know what I'm saying when you turn it off it's easy to you could bend that back out again so I think that's gonna do it I think we fixed this little issue I want to just show you that this thing's see how that's not moving at all now see that bud all right with that Let's see if it works that's the main thing right thank you sir get my foot out of here Tough getting old, man. How old are you, buddy? 48. You're getting there, too, huh? Yeah.
Like I said, you gotta be careful with these lever handles, man. It's easy to, to over torque it, you know, and end up with the same problem, but I think you're fixed, my friend. I had another question about something else when you hit. What do you got? Um, when you when I do down the road, if these ever need to be replaced. Right. These are three independent. Correct. You've got an eight inch spread faucet right there. So when you that's buy what it, that's called, eight inch spread. When you buy it in the store, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. What I would do is always when you go to Home Depot to buy something, take a picture of what you have, mm -hmm. and say I need I want something new, but this is what I have now. The configuration. <laughs> That's called an eight inch center faucet. Okay. All right? Gotcha. I think you're good, my friend. No, you don't need, owe me anything. What about for gas? Uh, you wanna, you know. Yeah. Can I get twenty dollars for gas? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I appreciate it. Hey, no sweat, brother. Thank you. I know. Have a I great am. day, man. You too, sir. Thank you for coming back. Hey, no problem, man. Uh, I Something down the road like that. I can call you to do stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, of course. Man. I'll text you, John. Thank you. All right, bro. Bye. How old your heater, man? Uh, that is. Is that the original? No. Oh, it was put in in sixteen. Yeah. Holy fuck! He got a big bastard. That's a big old heater, bud. That's How'd you get that? That's a commercial. When I bought it, the house it was. Yeah, you can't even get that anymore. How many gallons is this? 80 gallon. So what do they sell now? You, the biggest one you can buy for a residential property is uh, is a 55, but you know they're about two two hundred dollars more than a 50, and you can get that additional five gallons of water just by turning up the temperature on a 50. Um, but yeah, this is a lot of water, man. For how many people live here? I mean, a child. Yeah, that's, that. yes. that's a lot of water, bro. But uh, it's still cheap to, you know, $550 a, a year to run it. It probably costs you less than that because you uh, don't use it much. So. so to get an 80 gallon one, you would have to go... You can go to a commercial grade, but they're expensive, you know. You can get a commercial heater, electric, that would fit in here. But... Um, you know, somebody may complain about it when you sell the house. Who knows? Uh, how can but that. How can you tell me looking at it that it's eighty gallons? How just because I'm I'm used to so looking at them, but I can I can find the tag and uh, see. There's no sticker. It's probably on this other side where you can't see it. But yeah, I mean, my experience tells me this is an eighty gallon water heater. Uh, yeah, okay. there's usually a tag with a, with a serial number and a model number, but I can't see it here. Um, but my guess is that's definitely an 80 gallon water heater. Okay. I've learned something new. Yeah. It's Thank a lot you. of hot water, man. You could sell it, sell it to your neighbors. Thank you. Have a great day, brother. That was an easy fix. The stop tube on the mowing, mowing uh, rough body was loose. I just had to kind of crimp that thing over, squeeze it together, and put it back in. So hopefully it'll last for a while. I, I did, you know, with those lever handles, people tend to push real hard. It could get stretched out again, but it's all good. All right, so that was a quick fix. And I couldn't, you know, couldn't charge the guy $150 for doing that. I, I have, I do have a conscience. But uh, he was cool. He, he actually gave me uh, 20 bucks for gas. But, you know, it's that kind of stuff that gets around, you know, that you're not a, a shyster. When you drive out to somebody's house and you do absolutely nothing and you charge them 300 bucks, uh, that's not a good way to do business, but... Anyways, I'm heading up here to Gorman's to see if they still have those water heaters. And if they do, 
they just went through inventory and they've got a lot of shit man that has you know every time they do inventory they put a sticker on these on this stuff you know so they can tell how many inventories it went through and the stuff that's got like two or three stickers on it they want that shit out of there so I'm more than happy to take brand new old shit old new stock <laughs> or new old stock uh, but yeah they try to clean house man a lot of shit goes in the dump a lot of stuff goes in the dumpster when uh, when it's inventory time and it feels like my right front bearing is going on this truck I mean when I take a right turn I do have a lot of weight up here so I'm gonna have to look into that 